Alrighty, folks. Today's what? Wednesday. So today I'm going to do a little lesson on uh, A minor slash C major. I've talked on lessons in the past how any major key uh, has its, a relative minor, which means all the notes in that minor are the same notes that are in its major. Uh, and um, the, uh, I don't want to get too much into too much crap with all of it. So I'm going to do a, a thing with A minor slash C major. I'm going to play a track that I took, that I created to. Here's a little bit of the track. It's sort of like you can't always get what you want, sort of. I mean, it's not it. It's just, it's C to F, whatever. You listen, it goes to D minor. But here it is. example you know I've done some lessons along the way using a minor or a minor pentatonic but there's a perfect example of the chord progressions speak that key and then it goes to I'm playing through my uh, cube Roland cube 40 it's a solid state amp, just a little solid state amp. So, so what I do on this is uh, you'll see me doing a lot with the uh, A minor pentatonic, but I'll lean towards that C note, and I'll also I'll arpeggiate uh, because I've learned all you know. In I've learned the dyads, octaves. Uh, the arpeggios, everything in every key. Uh, once you learn one key, you just move all that same stuff for the other key, you know. But uh, so I, I use that C. Uh, you got a C chord right here at the 12th fret, like a D, D. You know, so it's a D-shaped chord as you go up. G, A. You know, uh, whatever, B flat, B, and here's your C. So another thing to learn on a guitar if, uh, that will improve your creativity, because you'll, you'll hear these new things and come up with new ideas, you know, you got your C chord. I do a lot of arpeggiating as part of a melody sometimes in a song, like I'll play over this track what I created to it, and sometimes I'll, for the fun of it, I'll come downstairs and I'll take this same thing and I'll put it on heavy distortion and I'll rock out and play a whole, I mean, nothing even on the same planet, but to that same track just to goof around, but what comes from my heart for that is what I'll play for you in a minute. So uh, what I do with this is so your C up here, I just arpeggiate that C. When it goes to the F, then I arpeggiate the, the F chord. So now what I'm doing here is just taking the F here in dyad form out of the key of C. So I'm just doing using that stuff, you know. Then I'll go into the A minor scale. some A minor parts in there, but I'll play out of that A minor pentatonic position, but I'm focusing on that C chord, 
And the things that I do over it, when it goes to the F, I just move for that F chord and do something on that. So here we go. I'm going to play what my sister gave me the title to it when she heard it. I created this in 2012 or 2013. Just backing tracks I bought at the store. And she, she just said, oh, I, I don't know, I get gentle rain. So I said, well, it's gentle rain then, you know. I didn't put much effort into, like, you know, whatever, to title stuff. I just titled it what I felt like. So here we go, gentle rain. Um, so I start off with these dyads. Uh, so there's a lot of dyad stuff in it, you know. Thank you. 
So there you go. All basic little things, nothing extravagant at all in there to create, you know, something out of A minor pentatonic, A minor, C major. Thank you very much. I'll post it if it don't suck.